Hello, hello everyone. My name is Alex Martinez. I am a developer advocate at MuleSoft. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to implement our async API specifications using AnyPoint Studio. Let's get started. First of all, let's see a quick recap of what we did in the previous video, which is where we designed our two async API specifications. In summary, what these two specifications are doing is the account service is going to be in charge of taking a look at all of the new accounts that are created in the website or in the API that we will be using. Once a new account has been created, the account service is going to send the message to the queue and then the email service is going to be subscribed to that queue so every time that there is a new message being posted to the queue, the email service is going to pick it up and it's going to send the appropriate welcome email to the information from the queue. Now, if we take a look inside the account service, in the summary here, we can take a look and see that we have the user sign up channel and we have a subscribe operation, even though we are publishing stuff into the queue from the account service. We need to use the subscribe operation. If you want any more details on why we chose to design it like this, please go take a look at the previous video. And now if we take a look at the email service, we will be able to see that we have the same API channel of user sign up, but now we have a publish operation instead of a subscribe. Again, even though the email service is going to be subscribed to the queue, we need to use a publish operation. Now that we understand the design, the next step is to actually get started with the MQ. Please make sure that you are using an AnyPoint Platform Enterprise account, otherwise you won't have access to AnyPoint MQ to create your queues. So once you are inside AnyPoint MQ, the first thing that you can do inside Destinations, go here to the Copy button and select the connector version 4.x and later. We will be using this URL later, so make sure to save it somewhere safe. The next thing we need to do is to actually create the queue. So go ahead and click on the plus button and select queue. Now we are going to name this user sign up and you can leave all of the defaults and click on create queue. Once the queue is created, you can go here to client apps. Again, click on the plus button and create a client app like async API. Once you're done, click on save changes. Now, once you see this screen, please make sure you copy and paste your client app ID and your client secret somewhere safe because we will be using them in studio. All right, that was all the configuration from AnyPoint platform. Now, if you head to AnyPoint Studio, let's get started. So click on create a mule project. We will name this accounts app and then under API implementation, import a published API, click on the green plus sign and select from exchange. If you are not currently signed in, please click on add account and follow the prompts to log into your AnyPoint platform account where you have published your async API specifications in exchange. After that, you can search for the account service. And once you are able to see your actual account service from the asset type of async API, press on the add button to add it on the right here and press on finish. After everything looks good, you can click on finish one more time. After the project has been created, go into the global configs.xml file, head to the global elements tab and open the AnyPoint MQ config. If you added your MQ URL to the API specification, then you most likely will have it here. If you don't, please add this property AnyPoint MQ server, AnyPoint MQ URL and press OK. Now, before we close this file, let's go ahead and create an HTTP listener configuration. We're going to leave all of the defaults and press OK. Once you are done, you can save this file and now head to source main resources and open the dev properties properties. Because we added the other property for the URL, just make sure you add it here and then fill out these details with your actual values from MQ. I'm not going to be able to show you all these values because of security reasons, but once you are done, save the file and close it. Finally, head to the accounts app, drag and drop an HTTP listener into the canvas. This will create a flow for you. Change the path and let's make it slash publish. 
And now, if you go here to the API kit for async API module, make sure you take this publish connector from this module and put it here in the process side. Once all the metadata has been resolved, you will be able to see here your channel name, user sign up, and your server name, Anypoint MQ, both coming from the async API specification we created in Exchange. That is all for this. Make sure you save the file and now you can deploy this to Cloud Hub. Once it says that it's deploying, you can close this window. And if you head to Runtime Manager, you will be able to copy this URL. This is the one that we are going to use to call our integration. Now let's create the second project. So we can either close this project or leave it open. And then we have to select New, Mule Project, this is going to be the email app. Once again, we're going to import it from Exchange. And now we need to select the email service that we had previously created. Once again, if we head to global configs in global elements, if we open the AnyPointMQ config, let's replace the URL with a property. Press OK. Now head to source main resources, the properties properties and here paste the new property that we will be using. Once again, fill all of your values for these three properties, save the file and close it. And finally, we can head to the email app.xml and notice that we already have a flow, a message listener and a logger. So if we were to actually implement the email that we are going to send, this is where we would add that component instead of the logger. But because we are just trying to focus on the implementation side, we're just going to leave the logger like that. Right now it is logging the payload. But if we take a look at the message listener from the async API API kit, we will be able to see that the module configuration is already there. The channel name user sign up is already selected and the endpoint MQ server is already added. So that is all for this configuration, same as we did before, let's deploy all of this to Cloud Hub. And once both of our applications have been deployed, we are able to test them, calling the account app. So here, for example, this is my URL, remember to put slash publish, and I am going to send this body. So after I get my 200 OK status, I can now head to my email app and check the logs and I can correctly see my payload being outputted here in the logs. That means our message queue was correctly published from the account app and correctly read from the email app. And that is all for this video. Congratulations on implementing your first API specifications on AnyPoint Studio. Please stay posted for more async API videos and articles, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.